Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to my little corner where today we're going to do our nails again. I got another kit from Savvy Land, but this time we're going to try dip powder with tips. This dip powder set all glows in the dark and it has a multitude of colors. And the nail tips I got from Amazon. I'll link everything in my Amazon storefront under my beauty favorites so you guys can find it. I'm also going to use this Kiss Vita Bond nail glue. It's my fave. I use it for all my press ons or anytime I'm using tips. I got this brush to dust off excess powder. And I'm going to go ahead and use the nail file that I got in my poly gel kit. I actually really love this nail file. So I have all my tools out, no clue why I have my nail lamp out. We'll just completely ignore that. I'm going to use some solutions that I got in another set. So my activator, all my good stuff is actually from another set, which I'll put in my Amazon storefront. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a really good view of all these beautiful, beautiful colors that are in this kit. Not only are the colors bright and vibrant, but they glow in the dark. The kids love that. They thought that that was so cool. So we've got some blues, some bright pinks, some oranges. This is one of the light pinks that I fell in love with and it's the one that I'm going to use today. But I wanted to make sure that you got to see all the colors without the caps on. So here they are. That green and those that blue just call into me. I swear I cannot wait to use those. But today I'm going to use the cream color as a base and then we're going to use lovely pink on top of it. I purchased these nail clippers from Amazon so that I can easily cut down the tips once I've applied them. I'm going to go ahead and use this. I got it in the poly gel kit and it works really well to push down my cuticles as well as the nail file that I got in my poly gel kit to go ahead and rough up my own nails, push back the cuticles, and clean them up real nice. This is the part that I hate the absolute most, so I try to make it go by as quickly as possible. So there's no need of putting you guys through it. I think I'll just show you a couple little clips of me cleaning up my nails, and then we'll move on to applying the tips, which is honestly the most fun part, adding length to your own nails. I hate this part. <laughs> it drives me nuts. But there they are, all cleaned up and ready for tips. I got these on Amazon as well. They work really well. They're nice and sturdy. They're the perfect length, the perfect shape. I love them. And I already know what size to use because I started trying my poly gel kit with these tips, which I really like using them like that too. Uh, maybe I'll do an updated video for you guys. But basically, I just apply the glue to the little um, indention in the nail where you're going to apply it to your natural nail. And just kind of hold it on for a few seconds, try and make sure I don't have any bubbles in there. And then once I've got it good, check it, make sure it's straight. And then if it's not straight, kind of move it to where it needs to go and hold it on. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. I don't know if this was a great idea, but what we did here in this video was I decided to go ahead and do both of my hands at the same time. Rather than do one hand, complete it, come back and do the other hand and complete it. I wanted to see how long the whole process would take me with both hands. So here I go, trying to do both hands at the same time. Now granted, I need to do a little disclaimer here. I am not good at anything with my hands. I have never been really creative. I've always enjoyed doing stuff like this, but I've never been the greatest. So when it looks ratchet, which it will, please keep that in mind. I am the kind of person I need practice in order to get better, and I will get better, but this first go around was a little bit rough. Um, I mean, everything's going nice and smoothly now, applying the nails, I had no issue. I have a lot of experience with press-ons, so this is very much like that. Now they're all on, it's time to cut these bad boys down because I'm not going to leave them this long. That one absolutely drives me nuts. So I'm going to go ahead and one by one cut the nails down. So what I do is I cut one nail, get an idea of where I want to cut the other nail, and go ahead and cut the other nail. Once I've got them both cut, I'm going to hold them up next to each other and see if I cut them anywhere close to the same. If I did, I can move on. If I didn't, I have to go back and cut one or both of them down once or twice, depending on how badly I messed up, um, and then move on to the rest of them. This whole process doesn't take very long. It doesn't really 
I mean, it, this part doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> what it bothers me is when I have a nail file in my hand. Um, it's actually kind of nice and they're going through and deciding how long you want your nails to be and making sure that you have the right shape. This is the part I hate. Making sure that the little lip of the tip meets up to your natural nail as smoothly as possible. Um, the reason why you guys see me do a base coat, I <laughs> figured I'd bring my little drill in to try to help me out. But the reason why you guys see me do like a little strip of a base coat is because I heard that that helps hide this little line. I think moving forward the next time I do this, I will skip that step entirely because I feel like that is what gave me the most bubbles or lumpiness in my gel, which you guys will see. It's pretty lumpy. Um, I compare it to the first time I ever iced a cake. You know, it kind of looked like that. Um, but here are my nails all wrapped out and ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and take the red, which is the activator, and just go ahead and do that little strip that I told you guys about. Like I said, I heard this would help conceal the fact that I had a tip there and would make it nice and smooth. And honestly, I feel like this part just made it worse. So if I could skip it, I think I would have skipped the entire cream powder altogether and just started immediately with the pink color and just started immediately trying to build that backwards, if that makes any sense. Um, but here you see me going ahead and doing that little strip throughout all of my nails on both hands, trying not to get too much of that liquid on my nail, but not really realizing how much I already had on there. That's where it started to clump up is when I got too much liquid on it because basically any liquid or activator that you put on your nail, it's going to catch powder and it's going to turn hard. So if you accidentally get a little bit on your skin, you're going to have a big hard clump on your skin. So like I said, I literally would just skip this whole step if I were you guys and move on to where you see me with the bright pink and maybe do an extra coat of just the bright pink than I do. I think I do two coats in this video. I would just do three coats of just the bright pink. So just finishing out my nails here and then once I go through and I do that little line, I dust off my fingers, I'll go ahead and grab a, the brush sitting beside me and get all of that excess powder that is sitting on top that hasn't come off through the tapping. Make sure I get all of that off before I move on to the next layer. I make a mess too <laughs> several times in this video, so just ignore that. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the other hand, same exact little ritual, just trying to create, I don't know, it didn't do me any good, ignore it. Brushing all of that off, and now we're moving on to doing almost a full layer of the cream. I start from where I created that little transition strip, and then I'm going to pull it all the way up through the tip. Yeah, it doesn't look great. <laughs> but yeah, starting there and pulling it all the way up. So not, not my full nail, but from that strip up. This is just what I had seen done in another video. Granted, she did it much, much better than me. Um, but I think for me, I would just skip that step because I'm just not good with my hands. I got the gel everywhere. I got excess powder and had more clumps than I think I would have if I had just, you know, just went ahead and went on with it. Here is what my nails look like after doing those first two steps. I'm a little worried and feel like I need a prayer, but we're going to keep moving on. So I'm moving on to the lovely pink shade, and I'm going to go ahead and take the activator from the base of my nail, from the cuticle all the way to the top, trying not to miss anything. Um, I think if anything, I put too much of the liquid on my nail. I don't think there were too many instances, maybe once or twice, where I missed a little bit on the side. So I would just say make sure your brush is fairly dry, like don't have excess on your brush, and that might help you. Once I get it in there, I give it a little uh, turn inside the powder to make sure that I got it all over the nail, a little tappy tap, and then I move on 
to another nail and do the exact same thing starting from the cuticle and moving all the way to the top see I am not coordinated whatsoever Ugh, it's really rough over on the left hand that's why I'm just like you know what just skip that part I'll just tell them and then I did the same thing on my other hand I will say dip powder is a little bit messy make sure you're doing it on top of paper towels or a towel that you don't care you know if it gets a little messed up um, what I did when I was completely done and ready to clean my area is I just picked up the towel and then dusted it off in the trash can <laughs> you guys will see it just magically clean um, that's what I did I just kind of picked up the towel folded it up and then dusted it over the trash can because it does get a little bit messy but this was a fun process to do and even though I mess up several times in many different ways it was fun to learn so this is me dusting that first coat off and then moving on to the second coat doing the exact same thing basically I heard if you didn't do two coats of the color that you wanted then when you went to sand down you would get to that transparent color and you wouldn't have the pigment that you want so I was trying to make sure that I had two full coats of the lovely pink to go on my nail again see my poor little hands shaking I don't even know how I managed to do this and I will say it's much harder to do it around a tripod and in front of a camera than it looks so here's what my nails look like after two coats uh, I'm so worried but we're gonna go ahead and throw the activator on it or the hardener so what this is gonna do is this is gonna take the powder and it's really gonna harden it up and allow you to go through and file down any bits that are jaggedy or bumpy. I have lots of bits. So um, this feels a little bit like an alcohol base, so it's very thin. Um, the brush didn't hold a lot of it, so I ended up having to go back in many times uh, and make sure that I got it really good. But it was really easy to do. I didn't have to worry about getting it on my skin or anything like that. So once that's all done, it is time to do, again, the dreaded drilling and buffing. I hate this part, so I'm just going to let you guys skip it and show you guys what it looked like after I was done. So this is before, and this is the after. So I'm not much better. Not really that much better, but... You know, it was my first time. I'm still really proud that I created these little babies out of nothing. They were just all powder and tips and boom. So now witness the last and final mistake that I make. I was actually supposed to go back over my nails before this step with the yellow activator cap, as I will notice soon enough. This is the polish. This is what makes it shiny. I was supposed to go back over it with the yellow cap activator, so it hardened it and it was good but I will say even though I skipped that step my nails turned out pretty dang good considering it was me doing them and it was my first time doing gel they weren't soft or anything they were nice and hard they lasted pretty well when I did pop one off the good thing about it is it glued back on so yeah this is me realizing oh no oh no I skipped a step but either way, I had to move on, so I went ahead and added the cuticle oil onto all of my cuticles and rubbed them in. And I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with how these turned out considering the fact that I did them and I've never done this before. I just really want to say thank you to you guys for joining me today, for watching me do my nails. I'm not someone who's teaching you anything, I'm just showing you the struggles that I'm having. And I really do appreciate it. your company and your comments in the comment section. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Now, let's see them glow. <laughs> I love it. I think it is so cool. I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Just in my loves. Bye.